Okay, maing gabi ka na itong tanan. Uh, welcome sa ito ang uh, midweek uh, service. Salamat sa ginoo, taliwala sa ula na ata karon para sa pagsimba kaniya. Amen! Sige, manindog tapalihog o mag-aawit kita alam sa pagdahig sa atong buhi ng Diyos. Unahon na ito ang saad sa ginoo. Okay, verse 1 now. Mi saad ang ginoo nga mo balik siya aron pagtigom sa mga balaan sa usa ka pagpilok kita alipan sa mahimaya ong bisti sa kasal unya kita paglalinon sa pagtagpo sa ginoo pagkatahum dungon og magpuyo sa hima Maya ang pinili ang ganon dito sa iyang puloy at siyang suka sa ngatanan dito sa langit nung kasal sa Biblia mabasa tanga mo balik siya may subang sa silang at ukasan pa pagtigo mo niyang tanang mga balaan pagpanhaw ng tua sa lunganan o niya kita paglalinon sa pagtagpo sa ginoo pagkatahong palandungon ug magpuyo sa himayang pinili ang ganon dito sa iyang puloy at siyang suka sa ngatanan dito sa langit nung Okay, last verse now. Sama man sa kawatan ang pagbalik niya, huwag mahibalo kung unsang oras ha. Pagbantay ba ya kung niya hikalimtan ka, ang pagbalik sa ginoo doon na. Come on! Anya kita paglalinon sa pagtagbo no pagkataho palandungon ug magpuyo sa himayang pinili iyang daton dito sa iyang puloy at siyang suka sa ngatanan dito sa langit nung kasal Another song since Jesus came into my heart. Okay, on verse one now. What a wonderful change in my life has been wrought since Jesus came into my heart. I have light in my soul for which long had sought since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart, since Jesus came into my heart, floods of joy o'er my soul like a sea billows roll. Since Jesus came into my heart, I have ceased from my wandering and going astray. Since Jesus came into my heart. My sins, which were many, are all washed away since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart, since Jesus came into my heart, floods of joy o'er my soul like a sea below strong. Since Jesus came into my heart, there's a light in the valley. Since Jesus came into my heart And the gates of the city beyond I can see Since Jesus came into my heart Since Jesus came into my heart Since Jesus came into my heart Let's of God for my soul like a sea Now I shall go there to dwell in that city I know since Jesus came into my heart and I'm happy so happy as onward I go since Jesus 
Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart. That's a joy for my soul like a sea below's roll. Since Jesus came into my Amen. Sa so, di pa tayo magpadayan sa pag-awit, ako ngayon yun si Brother, uh, Pastor Bernardo Kalimpo para sa pag, uh, pangulo ka na sa pag-ampo. Okay, doko at tungulo. Pwede ko na tumata, mag-ampo ta sa ginoo. Kanimo amahan, nga naka sa mga langit. Lord, salamat kayo sa dako kayong kahigayunan. Ngayon mo na usap, maghihatag ka na mo karon. Salamat Lord, biran pa sa panahon. Pero salamat kay ginoo sa dakong grasya. Nga nagapamuhat nga ni sa mong tagsatag sa kakinabuhi karon ginoo nga padayo ni mong na preserbar ni among mga lawas nung kusog hinulaman na mong kinabuhi wagi padangat minimo ining tagsatag sa dinis panimalay uh, balay nga tigumanan aron ikaw daigo namo og simbahon diha sa espiritu sa kamaturan Lord God ikaw na sayod sa tagsatag sa sa mga kinabuhi unsa man among mga pagkulang kanimo ginoo ang among mga kapakyasan Bisan sa among mga kasalanan, sa pulong, sa buhat, sa unahuna, o bisan pa sa among unsay na mong nakita, ginoo. Ikaw na sayod, mga tao lamang kami, o di na mo ikalimod ang tanan, Lord. O sa ginoo, pasailua kami, o itugot ang dugo ni Ginoong Heso Kristo, ngayang giula ibabaw sa Cruz Calvario. Amo kiningiklim ka ron, nga uban sa imong pagpasailo sa mga sala na mo, imo kaming hugasan, pinagi sa miling dugo ni Kristo Jesus ka ron, Arumahi mo kaming takus o putli si mga tubangan. Lord, salamat sa dakong kaayo ni mo sa kinabuhi ni mo. Ari ka na mo og itugot na ikaw karun magagamit sa talagsaong buhat sa imong alagad ng pagadadun, ng magadala sa minsahi, din ang mga pulong uh, iyang malitok, kini imong kabubuton, aron pinaagi ni ini, Lord, maandam ni mo mik padayon, o sa gihapon may kusog kaligon kami, sarang na mong magamit sa mong pagpakabuhi, Aron kami magamit nga may epektibo pagyod sa buluhat ni mo nga daghan pag mga kalag among madalas tila ni Hesus mo sa bilang kinabuhi din magalagad nimo ang tanan kini among gipasalamatan ikaw gipangayo sa ngalan ni Hesus Kristo nga among Ginoo nga among manuluwas amen Amen please be seated Thank you Pastor Bernardo Okay one more song the comforter has come Okay verse 1 now Oh, spread the tidings round Wherever man is found Wherever human hearts And human woes abound Let every Christian come Proclaim the joyful sound The Comforter has come The Comforter has come The Comforter has come from man, the Father's promise can Oh, spread the tidings round Wherever man is found The Comforter has come The long, long night is past The morning breaks at last And washed the dreadful wail And fury of the blast As all golden hills, the days advances fast, the comforter has come, come on let's sing it, the comforter has come, the comforter has come, the holy ghost from heaven, the father's promise can, oh spread the tidings round, wherever man is found, the Now sing till the echoes fly above the vaulted sky, and all the saints above to all below reply in strains of endless love. The song that never die, the comforter has come. The comforter has come. from man. 
land the father's promise get oh spread the tidings round wherever man is found the comforter has come Amen Salamat sa ginawa wala tanya biyay na ang comforter ang wala ang espiritu sa ato karon Amen Mamalik ta sa pagpanindog og ato andamo na atong mga tithes and offerings. Salamat sa Ginoo sa iyang pagpanalangin sa mata ko sa kanato. Amen. Okay, salamat sa Ginoo sab nga natay mahatag karon mauli sa iya. Maono nato siya sa ato nga mga halad. Knowing that God loveth a cheerful giver, ato kining buhaton ang paghatag nga may kalipay sa atong kasing-kasing. Amen. Ganyo na akong tanang mga usher sa pag-anhi sa atubangan og akong yanyo si brother uh, Brother Jolly Timog, pagpangulo ko nato sa atong pagampo. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, Gino, salamat sa takna sa kakabiyon. Salamat, Gino, ang uh, ikaw nagpadayon nga maayos sa among kinabuhi. We praise you, the Father God, sa mga butang nga uh, imun. Gitugot sa among kinabuhi, sa mga panalangin, nga mo na dawat, Gino. Bisang pa sa protection sa madaglawan nga kami naglakaw, Gino, ikaw naghahatag ni ni Gino. Lord God, nagsalamat mi nga ikaw ang naghahatag na mo o padayin nga kadaugan sa pag-abot na mo dili sa balay tumanan para sa pagpaminaw sa imong tulong. Ginawa nag mi sa among uh, paghimoon, sa pag-uli sa among tithes and offering. Ginawa nag mi nga uh, ikaw magpadayin ng bless sa mga kamot maghahatag ino. Ikaw magpadayin ng bless sa ilahang mga patarbaho, sa ilahang panginabuhi, bisan pa sa mga negosyo, mga pag-umag ino. Lord God, kaya tayo tayo ang prepay sa ngalan Amen. 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 Samtang kita maghatag sa tong tithes and offering, magpamakatita ang Guisaka Quartet nila ni Ralph, Nico, John, and Floyd. There's a peace I've come to know Though my heart and flesh may fail There's an anchor for my soul I can say He's well Jesus has overcome the grave is overwhelmed. The victory is won. He is risen from the dead. When I will rise, when He calls my name, no more sorrow, no more pain.
shall sing Worthy is the Lamb And I hear the cry of every longing heart Worthy is the Lamb Worthy is the Lamb Jesus is all Amen. Salamat sa special number o salamat na naa mo. So, kaganinang buntag and praying uh, muundang ang ulan pero wala gitugot sa gino. O, uh, what a blessing na bisa ng ulan, naa mo, wala mamahadlok sa ulan. Amen? So, what a blessing. May ikson ko sa gino. Nga nata ka ron ng takna sa gabi on. Aron sa pagpaminaw sa pulong sa gino. Paghimo nining uh, atong uh, servisyo. Oga sa atong pag-ampo. Oga, tonight what a blessed we are that God sent us a pastor from Borongan, Borongan no? Borongan Summer? A city. Sa Borongan City. Oga, nalipay ko nga naka, naka, kuansin ako oga message sa messenger. And I uh, found out nga naasan ilabay sa atong lugar, padulong siya sa pagadian. O taga-pagadian siya sa una, o uh, ako siyang invite na muhapit siya dili sa atong church aron mahimo na itong panalangin. Amen? O sa di pa na ako siya tawagon, akong gihangyo pagtindog ang iyang mga kauban at atong silang mailan. Si Ma'am Anna Barty, wife ni Pastor Barty, palihog ma'am, mag-tindog. And uh, Miss Julie Dolfo, Miss Julie Dolfo, O uh, si missionary John Mark Alisan. So, son in ni Pastor Barty. O si attorney Cherry and Alisan. So, amen. So, dagan salamat. Palihog kong lingkod. You know, may son ko sa gino. You know, kung makita ko uh, uh, tao nga, even though na, uh, nasa opportunity ni ni kanibu, Kadibutana, but iyang ibiyaan aron lang uh, mo sunod siya sa tawag sa Ginoo to be a missionary murag matad sang akong kasing-kasing si uh, ma'am uh, attorney Cherry Ann mo adto sila sa kuyog ni missionary John sa uh, Taiwan as our uh, um, as a missionary amen so my son ko sa Ginoo no pag kanindot kayo tanahon nga dunay mga tao nga dunay sila i dako kayo nga oportunidad no nakapasa na siya ga bar exam and then uh, all of a sudden he gave uh, her life to God and he want to serve God kuyog sa iyang husband so ato silang i-pray amen na nakinahanglan sila sa atong uh, prayers og uh, tonight our speaker tonight is a pastoring in Burongan Eastern Samar Burongan City Stern Summer Bible Baptist Church and he was uh, sa una uh, involved siya sa construction work as a civil engineer and he has a great heart for God and uh, dito maglangan itong tawagon Pastor Lowell Barty let's give him a big hand please Seven o'clock Mayong gabi sa tanan 
It's nice to see you this evening. It is my privilege to stand behind this pulpit to share the Word of God. Thank you so much, Pastor Ray, so Brabas, for this opportunity, together with his family, for accommodating us uh, for this brief time of passing your place. And by the way, this is my first time in your church. And I saw God's working in your church. And your pastor has been a blessing to many churches, especially during a World Missions Conference. So for this evening, I will not uh, waste time. Uh, my task is to share to you the Word of God. Please open your Bibles to the book of Acts chapter, uh, chapter 27. Chapter 27, verse number 22. I will just read one verse, but we will be covering uh, verses from verse 22 until verse number 38 for this evening. So we will read verse 22 together. Ready? Begin. And now I exhort you to be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you, but of the sheep. God bless the reading of his words. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this evening. Thank you for the opportunity again that we can gather ourselves together in this very place you have provided for your people, Lord, to worship you, to exalt you, and to listen from your words this evening. Lord, thank you for this privilege. Thank you for the great salvation that you have given to us and the opportunity and the privilege also to serve you through the church. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity this evening. I need your help, your wisdom. Give me, Lord, the utterance to preach your words through the demonstration of the Holy Spirit. Bless your people. Guide me even for this evening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My heart uh, wiggles when I uh, receive a message from the, your pastor, Pastor Ray, that you will preach on uh, Thursday night. So my heart wiggles of what kind of message because I do not have any idea of what Pigkarangan Bible Baptist Church is all about. But I know that there is a church in this place. So uh, as I look, the encouragement about the Lord's work should be in the hearts of God's people. And every time the word of God is preached in this pulpit, the tenor of every message is to encourage everyone to continue and to pursue God's work. And there is no doubt about it. And this evening, I would like to again remind everyone, member of this church, to continue serving the Lord. Just like the verse in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse number 58, and I would like to quote that verse. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Lives ought not to be wasted. Every one of us this evening, I would like to encourage to give your whole life to the Lord. Because that would be your uh, rendition of giving your life to the Lord. Nga naay eternal value. It will not be wasted. But in such a presentation for this evening of encouraging you in the Lord's work, I would like to shift a little bit in relation to the verse nga atong gimbasa karong gabi so with that, I would like to speak a message this evening entitled Shipwreck, if you want to write it down. Shipwreck. This is a precautionary measure for us to learn and to understand that Christian life, serving the Lord, is not always a bed of roses, enjoying the blessings of the Lord as we want it to enjoy and we do not want to experience and even uh, have that situation of life that squeezes our hearts, and even our lives. So the tenor of the message for this evening is to give this reminder that as we continue in serving the Lord, we cannot overlook of uh, reminding ourselves about the possibility of experiencing 
shipwreck in our lives. Please be informed this evening that shipwreck can be devastating to one's life. To one's life. When we talk of the context of the verse, you will understand later that this is uh, the last portion of the life of the Apostle Paul when he was being brought to Rome so that he will make an appeal to Caesar because of the accusation against those that oppose, that doesn't like of what he did. Talking of the former life that he had, being a Pharisee, now he is preaching the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Jewish people, the Pharisees particularly, the Sanhedrin, the religious leaders of the day, doesn't like him, even his own countrymen. And that is why this is the final uh, portion of his life and he was brought to Rome together with the rest of the prisoners. 276 souls in the ship. Now, I was reading one time in a daily bread in connection with this account of the Apostle Paul in his life. The six Gloucester, Massachusetts fishermen were doomed. A colossal 30 feet waves slam their swordfish boat while wind 92 miles per hour battered their vessel during October 30, 1991 hurricane. Meteorologists called such a storm ang tawag perfect storm. In our passage, this is the Apostle Paul. How would you like to trace the record of his life being an apostle to the Gentile, and as he do, the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ entrusted to him from the church in Antioch together with Barnabas and the rest of the team in his missionary journey. How would you like to trace such a life for this evening? Since the start of his ministry, recorded in the book of Acts chapter 9, after his salvation, we can find records of what took place of his life. He'd been to many places doing the ministry. Souls are saved. There are many experiences that he experienced in life. And to summarize of such a ministry that Paul had during his time, in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 7, rather chapter 11, quickly to that portion if you would, in chapter 11, verse number 22, na to to summarize the portion of his uh, ministry serving the Lord. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse number 22, are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more. Try to notice the record of what he did in the ministry and also the experiences that he experienced. We can find in verse number 23. In labors, more abundance. In strife, above. In stripes, above measure. In prisons, more frequent. In death, of, of the Jews, five times receive I forty stripes, save one. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Once was I stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck. Night and a day I have been in the deep. In journeyings often, in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils by the heaven, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, in weariness, in painfulness, in watchings, 
often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness. Beside those things that are without, that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches, who is weak, and I am not weak, who is offended, and I burn not. If I must needs glory, I will glory of the things which concern my infirmities, that the God of, and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is blessed forevermore, knoweth that I lie not, I lie not. in Damascus, the governor under Aretas, the king, kept the city of the Damascens with a garrison desirous to apprehend me. And through a window in a basket was I let down by the wall and scraped his hands. What an experience of the life of the Apostle Paul. If there is a person that will be discouraged if discouragement will be entertained and be accommodated in one's life, why lain nga dako ang percentage for a person to be discouraged but the Apostle Paul? Na siya infirmity, he asked the Lord thrice that such an infirmity be taken away from him but the Lord said, My grace is sufficient for thee. That's why in the last portion of his life, in the book of Timothy, he said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. When this lockdown started last year, in the month of March, almost one year now, Lives has been devastated. Everyone is being locked down with their respective homes and then nations are being regulated and even countries talking of economy and the many aspects of the existence of a certain country na a degree of devastation and even churches. Some are being immobilized. Some are discouraged maybe and many things that will be entertained in one's life. Trials, sufferings and in our passage, shipwreck can always be expected and big possibility happen in the lives, will happen in the lives of God's people. And this can be devastating. So this is a friendly reminder for this evening from the Word of God as we look into the passage that we just read a while ago in the book of Acts chapter 27. There are three principles na aton makhibaluan dire karong kagabion. I will start in verse number 22 to 26. That covers our first point for this evening about that so-called shipwreck. When I say shipwreck, if you will look into that, the passage that we just read, kana bang nagsakay kag barko niya, maabtan ka o uh, bagyo storm, o niya mag -ana -ana na ng barko, and then maguba na siguro siya, o niya masanlad na gusaka island, such a situation is a shipwreck. And this is the very situation of the Apostle Paul while he was being brought to Rome. It's good to enjoy life. It's good to enjoy our Christian life. It's good to enjoy the many blessings that we receive from the Lord in many ways. But I would like to present this evening shipwreck situations, trials, and everything that squeezes our hearts. Maybe we do not like it, but as I look, to God be the glory and in His grace alone, na ay panalangin nga ma-enjoy na to. Because kasagaran yun, we just want to enjoy Jollibee, McDonald's, and then Starbucks, enjoying our nice place and everything. And we uh, overlook and even ignore 
na ang shipwreck, trial, sufferings, and even free fall. I remember such an account that I read one time. They has a daily bread again. There are lots of illustrations there. Sometimes ato inigi overlook, dili nato gi appeal sa kwinta. So this is a a preparation, a precautionary measure that when shipwreck comes, look to this passage, and I would like to share three things. Partly in my life, na ay na experience na. Okay, let's try, let's start. In verse 22, gidala na si Apostle Pablo, paingon na sila sa Rome. And then along the way, diya sa Mediterranean Sea, na ay bagyo nga may abot. Unya, ang verse number 22, bulabog na sila sa barko. And then, ingon ang verse number 22, Paul said, And now I exhort you to be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you, but of the sheep. Like this COVID-19, Like this COVID-19, we do not know every one of us is vulnerable. According to the record, according to the information, that this COVID-19, di kakabalo kung kinsay na. Once, nga na ay mataptan, na mataptan, contact tracing, unya maapil ka, and then matrace, apil diri. That's my feeling as pastor of the church in Borongan. We do not know, but thank the Lord that He continually spare His churches in the Philippines. So that when we talk of the ministry, when we talk of our missionary endeavor, it will not be hampered. It will continue. When the economy is down, the economy of God is not being contained and subject according to what the economy of a certain country is. Because the economy of a country depends on God. And mind you, when God blesses His people, regardless of the economy, God will supply. Let's just have a heart for God's work. So this pandemic ought not to hinder us. Instead, this is the very nice time to exercise our trust and our faith in God. That's why the Apostle Paul said here in the verse, I exhort you to be of good cheer. For there shall be no loss of any man's life among you but of the sheep. I'm not saying this evening, na walay mamatay. Ng mga Kristohanon. God knows of what is going on, but nothing happens by accident. But try to notice the first thing na akong ishare kong kagabiyon, when shipwreck comes, number one, take sight clearly if you want to write it down. Take sight clearly. Try to imagine with me in a boat, not that kind of boat that we have now, na maayo ang mga lightings. But during the time, I do not know, I cannot figure it out. But try to imagine, why makina ng barko siguro, ang gigamit lang ang layag, and then kung asa ang direction sa wind, dito na ihuyok, and then mudaga ng barko. But when shipwreck, because of the storm, nahitabo. Miingon good si Apostle Pablo, I exhort you to be of good cheer. Walay kinabuhi na mamatay except the sheep. Is it not true that the Lord said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee? When the borders opened last March 1, I grabbed the opportunity to travel from our place going to Pagadian City. Thank God, nakaabot me, manguli na may ugma. 
Kay basig sa lunis, i-close na po. I do not know. So take sight clearly. Ayuhon magtanaw ba? Just like the Apostle Paul. Ingun siya. Be of good cheer. Nga nung nakayon ana man siya, Pastor. Verse 23. For there stood by me this night the angel of God, whose I am and whom I serve, saying, Fear not, Paul. Thou must be brought to Caesar. And lo, God hath given thee all them that sail with thee. Wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer, for I believe God that it shall be even at it, as it was told me. Howbeit, we must be cast upon a certain island. So this is the clear sight of the Apostle Paul. Hayag kayong yung paglantaw sa sitwasyon. Just like in our situation now, we should learn, including myself, to trust God and have faith in God in our situation. Amen? Amen. Basta na ako na'y kasing-kasing, na agyo na'y kahadlok. Pero salamat sa ginoo, nga bisa ka na itong mga kasing-kasing na hadlok, ingon siya, fear not. Ayaw kahadlok. So ang gikinangla na to, to take sight clearly. Ayuho na to ang tanaw. Ano? Ikaduha. From verse 27 to 32. Just follow me with your eyes. But when the fourteenth night was come. Lahi ang atuwa kay almost one year na. <laughs> Pero kay Apostol Pablo, actual good ana. Unya, ingon diha ang verse katong ibasa. Ika katursi na kagabi eh. Ana-ana hira. But when the fourteenth night was come, as we were driven up and down in Adria about midnight, the shipmen deemed that they drew near to some country and sounded and found it twenty fathoms. And when they had gone a little farther, they sounded again and found it fifteen fathoms. Then fearing lest we should have fallen upon rocks, they cast four anchors out of the stern and wished for the day. And as the shipmen were about to flee out of the ship, when they had let down the boat into the sea, under color as though they would have cast anchors out of the four ship, Paul said to the centurion and to the soldiers, Except these abide in the ship, ye cannot be saved. Then the soldiers cut off the ropes of the boat and let her fall off. This is an actual presentation and performance of mariners in this particular ship. Ingon ni Apostle Pablo, why mulok so? So in our situation, why mulok so sa church? Amen? There was a statistics made that after this pandemic, many will not go back to church again because of the many possible situations. Pero yung ni Apostle Pablo, except they will abide in the ship. So what is this by principle this evening? When shipwreck comes, number two, take sounding courageously. Take Sounding courageously. So, the key word there in our outline number two, the word is sounding. Common understanding, tingog. But as I look, this is a technical term. During my engineering days, na mi subject nga survey. Na gitawag na mo nga hydrographic survey ma-determine kung unsa kalawom kana diha nga portion sa dagat. So, giunsa na namo pagbuhat during our college days. Pananglitan, naadiri usa nga transit sa unang panahon. Transit diha. Niya, transit po diri. Na ay sakayan nga magbugsay paingon diri. Okay? 
And then, pananglitan ka nang nai kamera diha tungod, diha targitun, pagtungod yu diha sa sakayan, targitun aning transita, targitun po aning transit dire, ana, kanang point nga mag-intercept, mag-intercept diha, diha mag-target na ay i ubus nga line and then kana nga line na ay calibration to determine the depth of the water so that in that particular point there is a corresponding depth kalaom in that particular time kung unsa na siya nga oras kung alas city ba sa or alas city bas buntag ana kada time and then another maybe 2 meters target na pod another 2 meters target na pod target na pod ang tawag ana nga process is sounding sounding according to hydrographic survey that's why in the passage in verse number 28 and sounded and found it 20 fathoms so the first sounding that they made were according to the verse 20 fathoms Bainti kalupa, one patong, usa kalupa. No? Muna siya ka lang, ka, ka, kataas. So, 20 patong, so na, nahibaluan nila. O niya, ang sunod nga record according to the Bible, and when they had gone a little farther, they sounded again, and found it 15 patongs. Nagtikababaw na. Ano? Muna yung situation, so, meaning, nahibaluan nila, nga duol na sila sa island. Don't you know that in our experiences in life, we need to understand and learn how to calibrate how deep is our situation. Kinahanglan kay balutag mag-calibrate. Dili lang siguro angay mahadlok magpanik. Because kung di nato na masabtantanan, Thank God that our God is an omniscient God. He knows everything. I would like to quote the verse again. I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. But God has given us the mind and the capacity to calibrate how deep is our situation might be. Kaya no, there is no need to leave the church because of our shipwrecks in life because of the many situations of life that squeezes us, especially during this pandemic. Salamat sa ginoo sa ila, sa iyahang padayon nga pagbantay ka natong tanan. Please pray for us also there in Samar. Lipay ko basta mag live streaming na gani ka mo. Makita na ko this Pastor Ray or na ay mga pastor nga magwali dire. And then na nahimuot yu ko pagtanaw sa pulpito ninyo din eh, Pastor Ray. One of the well-known pastor in the USA. This is the shape of his pulpit. His name is David Jeremiah. <laughs> Parihog yung kurti oh. Ah, naapay daghang nagwali. Salamat sa ginoo. Take sounding courageously. And the last one, before I close, in verse number 33. Ingo ni Apostle Pablo, verse number 20, 31, Paul said to the centurion and to the soldiers, except these abide in the ship, ye cannot be saved. And verse number 33, And while the day was coming on, Paul besought them all to take meat, saying, This day is the fourteenth day that ye have tarried and continued fasting, having taken nothing. Wherefore, I pray you to take some meat, for this is for your health. For there shall not an hair fall from your head of any of you. And when he had thus spoken, he took bread and gave thanks to God in presence of them all. And when he had broken it, he began to eat. Then were they all of good cheer, and they also took some meat. 
And we were in all in the ship 200, three score, and 16 souls. And when they had eaten enough, they lighted the ship and cast out the wheat into the sea. Number three points that I would like to share this evening when shipwreck comes. Not only that we need to take sight clear, clearly, take sounding courageously. Number three, take sustenance carefully. Take sustenance carefully. But was about kaning situation, actual good na hitabo, kahuman aning devastation. While still there, they were in the sea. Kaon na sila. Kaon. Kinahanglan, masudlan ang tiyan. And that applies to us as a principle for this evening is that in our shipwreck, in our trials, in our experiences might be, kung unsa man siya nga experience that squeezes us, that will make us probably discouraged for us not to continue, not to move on. Because of my situation, we need to take sustenance carefully from the Word of God. God's Word is our food. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Nagana yung mga situation sa kinabuhi. Daghan ang dili ganahan mo kaon. Naapoy uban nga dala sa situation sa kinabuhi, kusog kay mo kaon. Muna nga mo burot, ano, ano, maybe because si tawagan na nga sitwasyon nila, pressured in ugkayo, no? But I am uh, sharing about the spiritual side of our Christian life. Take sustenance, the food of the Word of God. Ayaw pag tanaw dia sa Facebook, ugun sa dia mga, read the Word of God. Because God's Word is always updated in every generation and according to the book of Psalm 119, quickly to that portion, Psalm 119 verse number 165. Just follow me with your eyes, I will read the verse. Ingon ang mga pulong, great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. The word offend there, meaning ruin. No one can destroy. No one can devastate a child of God when everyone will know how to love God's word. Kasagaran rabang may tabo kung naanay mga situation sa kinabuhi, magpalayo sa ginoo. Di na magbasas pulong sa ginoo. Dili na magpray. Amen. But sometimes, gusto na ko i-connect ang kinabuhi ni Jonah. Lagot kay siya sa mga tao sa Nineveh. Dili siya mawali. Pero yung mga ginoo, wali ka dito. So wali siya. Tanan na luwas. Lagot kay siya. Gawa siya sa city. Ana. But before such an account, digyun siya mo tuo sa ginoo, di siya mo obey. Laya siya pa yung starsis. Giandaman siya o dako kang isda, whale according to the Bible. Dito na siya nagpray sa ilawang sa tiyan sa isda. And don't you know that while inside the whale's belly, he prayed. And he expresses this, and he said in the book of Jonah, chapter 2, verse number nine, verse number 8, They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. God's word is very important to every one of us in all of our situations, especially during our situation might be that we'll be experiencing shipwreck. Take note. We need to take sustenance carefully. We can only be encouraged as we look to the Word of God. Salamat sa gino sa mga instructions ay mga pulong. Thank you very much for your kind listening. Shall we all stand and pray? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the blessings that we learned this evening from your words. Thank you for your faithfulness and being so good to us that for almost one year now, in our situation, in our country, you are still with us, keeping us, protecting us, 
pouring out your blessings beyond measure, especially in your church here. Lord, continue to bless Pastor Ray and his family and every member of this church. Continue, Lord, to use them for the propagation of the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only in their own place, but around the world. Glorify your name in the midst of them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Barty. Remain standing. Bow your head and close your eyes. I don't want to close the service without uh, inviting you to come in the presence of God. Now, tinood na mga ikson ko sa ginoo. Sometimes sa itong ginabuhi, the message is a great warning to every one of us. Hili lang puro blessing ang ginabuhing Kristuanan. Sometimes there is problem and troubles and trials while you are serving God. Sometimes you cry. There are tears in your eyes. I don't know sa inyong kabutang karon, but the message is very clear. Sometimes kumabot na ito ang kalisdanan sa atong kinabuhi. We need to have to keep your sight clearly to God. Dili tapasagdan sa ginoo. If God is speaking to your heart, why you will not come and uh, talk to God in the altar? Christian, Christian life not always blessing at what we But before the blessing, there is trials. But thank God, our Heavenly Father, He promised not to forsake us. Is there in our sight. Just keep trusting God. The message is very clear. But sometimes there is separate in our life. Our Heavenly Father, thank you so much, O oh God. You sent a messenger tonight. Thank you, Lord, Pastor Barty Puyusigi. It's a clear message of God to your people. Dili lang usahay, dili lang puro mga kalipay ang among pagalaga di kanin. Sometimes, oh God, you tried our heart. But Lord, thank you so much for your love. Even in times of hardship, among mga feel din o ang imong pagigugma ka na. Lord, thank you so much about your grace, about your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your people. They came forward, they prayed, they knelt down. Lord, bless their hearts, O oh God. Sustain them. Tabangi sila gino, kanuna i bless sila. Tagay sila kalipay while serving you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Balik mo sa inyong gilingkulan. Pag-aigson ko sa ginoo, it was a great message. Amen?